All right, so uh, the formula you want to use, this is on page 9 of your data packet, is that energy stored in a capacitor is 1 half CV squared picofarad. And you can look this up. It's inside your data packet. Pico is 10 to the minus 12th, right? So this is 2200 E minus 12 farads, right? This is our voltage, right? Uh, plug it in, baby. You ought to get that. Now, that's not the really interesting thing, right? Um, the interesting thing here is that capacitors actually store the energy in the electric field, right? So we can actually get a sense, and, and this is a very interesting thing, right? If, if, if electric fields have energy in them, if you suddenly make the electric field go away, that is, we short out this capacitor, um, that energy has to go somewhere. And then the answer is that uh, what a collapsing electric field generates a magnetic field and and then the changing magnetic field, right? So, so basically this just causes, uh, the energy has to go somewhere and so you actually make an electromagnetic wave, right? Um, we can actually look at the energy density of this field, which is far more interesting than this problem. Uh, let's suppose this is the positive plate, this is our negative plate where we have this electric field in here, right? And the volume of this is the area of the plates times the distance, right? That's our volume, right? And we can actually look at the energy density, that is the energy divided by the volume over the volume. I'm, I'm doing a V with those things on it so we understand that it's volume, right? Um, but first we got to let's play around with the energy, right? The energy is, um, let's see, it's one half. And then if it's an air gap capacitor, it's epsilon not A over D, right? And then uh, the voltage would just be the electric field. Um, Okay, so I'm going to call this uh, potential energy so that we don't get confused about our E's, right? So this is our electric field, okay, um, uh, times the distance, right? Squared, right? Okay. Wow, we're just getting a lot of fun here. Okay, and the, the formula I just used there was that voltage is electric field times distance, or the electric field is what voltage divided by distance, okay? which I think they use like an R or something like that, which gives me a rash. All right, so, um, wow, what are we trying to do here? I guess we're trying to do the, um, the energy density. Yeah, there we go, this is good. Okay, so so uh, this is our energy in, the, in that electric field is this, right? And if we divide that by um, area times D, what do we get? We get uh, the area cancels out. Okay. And the uh, distance cancels out one of those. And then uh, the distance, this distance cancels out the other one, right? Because there's this d squared, right? And we end up with uh, the energy density, right? This guy over volume. The energy, the potential energy per unit volume is 1 half epsilon naught e squared. That's sort of interesting, right? Okay. Um, it totally has nothing to do with this, but it's cool. <laughs>